There we go. Good morning, <laughs> afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I am back to saying it in English. Let's yeah. go. My name is Zachary Nolan. My name is Carter Nolan. Yeah, you're back in front of the camera. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, what do you know? Does it feel like it shifted too far this way? Like you got all this room over here, but my elbow is being cut off. The only difference is now we can see hella well. Okay, we're turning the camera just slightly. I like how you tell them that. Like, there we go. prepare to be amazed. To be jumbled. Uh, so, what are we talking about today? Uh, we're talking what about did I say? teams we were just... that clinched the Who playoffs. is going to clinch and who is clinched already? So, shall I run them down just for anybody watching at home who doesn't know yet? Yeah, and make sure you mention what divisions are each. So. Yeah, so we'll go through the North Division first, and we'll go through the teams that are clinched, the teams that are mathematically eliminated, and the teams that are still in the hunt. Yep. So, Toronto has clinched with 71... They are the only team that's clinched in the North, right? Did you tell me to do it? I think you did. You told yourself to do it. But you know what I mean? I'm holding <laughs> okay. the phone. Uh, yeah. Yes, Toronto is clinched. Yep. And... Um, Edmonton and, and Winnipeg, Edmonton sits at 60 points, Winnipeg at 57 points, Montreal 55 points, and then the teams that are in the hunt, the only real team that's in the hunt is Calgary at 47 points, uh, Ottawa has been mathematically eliminated, Vancouver hasn't, but they don't have enough, they haven't played many games, that's why they haven't been. They had that big COVID yes. situation. Yes, so moving down on now, the Eastern Division is pretty much locked up, um, Pittsburgh, um, now we don't know where they'll place, but the top four teams are pretty much determined. Pittsburgh, Washington, New York, uh, Islanders, and Boston, Boston Bruins. Has a demanding lead. It they will they will clinch. They haven't yeah. yet, and unfortunately, that leaves the Bruins on the outside. And literally, the other three teams have been mathematically eliminated. Which I know, I I'm disappointed about the about the Rangers. I'll be honest. I I go on a bunch of, on the ranting New York Rangers, um, people's uh, stream quite a bit. You guys should check them out. They're very nice people. They just passed 100 subs, but okay. like. They, they, they do every game, and they do such a great job, and you can tell they really wanted their team to do well. I wanted their team to do well, and I was like, damn it. Uh, but anyway, moving to the West, yeah, yeah. and it's pretty much a three-horse race, and then whatever team's left. So to explain this, it's Vegas, Colorado, and Minnesota have clinched. St. Saint, Saint Louis is the fourth-place team with 53 points. And Arizona's on the outs with 49 points. Technically, San Jose hasn't been mathematically eliminated yet, or has, or has um, LA, I don't think, but they're going to be. So, yeah. But there's still a bit of a lead. Um, and then the Central is a lot like the last division we went through. Carolina, Florida, and Tampa all have clinched. And Nashville won in overtime tonight over the Dallas yeah. Stars to, take, to hold a slight lead. There are 58 points in 52 games. Although Dallas is in the hunt with 55 points in 51 games, and pretty much every other team is out. Correct me if I'm wrong. Nashville's quite a bit behind, ten, like in the sense of like they're clearly going to be fourth. They're not getting yes. any higher than that. Every team that I've mentioned in a position other than Boston, um, like for the last two divisions I talked about, the fourth place team is deep in fourth. Yeah. So let's go into the divisions and how we think the. Should we do the North first? Yeah, let's start with the North. Okay, well, let's start with the North. So, Toronto takes the division. Yep. Yeah. That's that's clean as a whistle we, right we, there. we were holding on to hope, but then this whole losing streak. Came. Well, and not only been just that, but, like, Toronto hasn't been stopped in a while, and it yeah. doesn't feel like they're going to slow down now. And now, possibly, they might be eventually be getting Freddie Anderson back. They don't so. need Freddie Anderson, though. They don't. He's their third goalie in this case. Yeah. He's the uh, third goalie. We'll have to see how it's it is. It's Jack Campbell, we'll have David to, Riddick, we'll and have, Brady We'll Anderson. have to see how it is come playoffs. Okay. Playoffs is a whole new game, so. Okay, but I don't think, but I think Freddie's been notoriously subpar in the playoffs. And I think Lee's fans would agree with that. They would like yeah, to see more from Freddie. Yeah, that, that, that's true. So, so um, we'll, we'll see what they do. So this is an interesting one. I think Edmonton holds on to second place. Edmonton has got 60 points in 48 yeah. games. Um, and Winnipeg is 57 and 50. And I don't think, and I think pretty much the way you slice it, ideally the, the, the matchup is Winnipeg and Edmonton. Because I don't care what anyone says, I would rather play Edmonton than Toronto. I disagree. I no. I, I here's my logic. I've told you this many times. Mm. Here's my logic. I don't give a fuck if we lose in the first round. Who would you rather lose to in the first round? Would you rather lose to 
the Oilers, or the Leafs? Would you rather be that? Would you in like to opinion, be the Flyers in this case when they lost to the Sabres? In my opinion, it doesn't matter. It does. It because totally does. Once, and do you know why? Why? Because one team you have a much better in, in my eyes at least, a much better chance of making the second round. The other team, you don't have nearly as much of a chance, but if you lose, you don't look as bad. Because I don't care how our team looks, I care how our team does. So, in the sense of, like, trust me, the Leafs, they're, out of my favorite teams, they're 31st better. in the league, and when Seattle but joins, team well, plays? actually, Seattle has joined, so they're 32nd. I but don't it, like the Leafs but, one bit. But if our team does better, we'll play Edmonton. Numbers! That, 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 Numbers! <laughs> that's true. But I'd still rather play Toronto because we've had a better track record against Toronto. I don't care. I don't know. I would rather not. I'm not saying I'm looking forward to losing games, but I'm saying is that if we win games and we end up playing Edmonton, so be it. I Let's do everything we can against Edmonton. I However, if we end up in a situation where we are playing Toronto, I feel... Tad more comfortable with it. I don't. I just... Okay, here's my thoughts, okay? I think that Toronto's tougher matchup, and I don't think they realize it, is against Montreal. I think Montreal plays a style that could be very troublesome for... Especially when they get healthy. When they get That's fully true. healthy for the Leafs. As opposed to a team like the Jets that play yeah. a very similar style to their own. Yeah. In although, which case, they have more offense to push Although, me personally, I don't really care about that in the sense of, like, I want... Uh, it's not that I want other teams to lose. I just want my team to do good. But I don't think we'll do better against the Leafs. I do I, th I think we will. Okay. I think we would. So, are you assuming Montreal gets the fourth spot? I, I think what will happen is I think Winnipeg will hold on to third and face Edmonton. Yeah, who my... fucking knows at this point? It's tough. Yeah, it's gonna see how. So, <laughs> it's gonna so Calgary out. doesn't catch up then, and I think tonight. Actually, we'll... I have a question. Mm. If let's say Ehlers is back in the playoffs, mm -hmm. do you think that makes the difference between winning and losing our first round? Whether he's back or not back. I do actually. I really do. I think it does too. I think Ehlers is the best offensive forward we have. This, I think this, I think he this is, is our his, best player. This is his breakout year. This is it. This is his year. Um, he hasn't slowed down since that series. And I last think and I think La uh, and I think Lowry is more important than people give him credit for, especially against two teams like this that are so well, he's, offensively he's loaded. He's the guy that you. He's, he's the, the counterweight. Yeah, he is the counterweight. So mm -hmm. I think it, I think it's vital that the Jets get both of them back by uh, playoff time. Yeah. So let's go into that. Next so division. Next division is the Eastern Division. This is a mess because you have Pittsburgh with seventy one points, yep. fifty two games. Mm -hmm. Washington sixty nine points in fifty one games. Islanders sixty seven points in fifty one games. Boston sixty six points in fifty games. Can I just like see look? It? Look at that. Can I just look take, at that take shit. A look here? Yeah. Who do you think takes the division? I don't know. I I think it really is any of that top four. Like, okay. Any of them. I my gut says it's gonna be Washington, but I'm not sure. Now I think I don't know. I haven't done this, but I think the way you determine it is just by looking at each of the team schedules. Maybe. See what games yeah. they have left. Are they playing the higher teams? Are they playing the lower teams? You know. Right, right. It's funny. I like because that division is very, very black and white. You're either mm -hmm. up there or you're out. You're Des in or out. Despite the <laughs> problems, no, there's no maybe. <laughs> despite the problems, I'd say in them down the line and trading, uh, and making a trade for Mantha, he has produced on the team he's on. That being said, so has Taylor Hall for Boston. Taylor um, has done very well. I'm looking at Pittsburgh and Islander and the Islanders. The Islanders never ne really needed a lot of extra scoring. They just kind of needed depth to just fill in the and they got pieces. That. They got it because they and they pick up Palmieri and Zajac. Mm -hmm. I okay. So out of this division, just an early look. Like obviously, we'll do an, another video for the thing. I I would go Washington. I want to say Washington Pittsburgh. Boston Islanders? You think Islanders finished fourth out of that? 
The Islanders are only ahead of Boston by one point That's with one game division. in hand. <laughs> it's really a tough All of division. these teams have under 20 losses. Actually, also, all of these teams have also, 15 or less losses. For, for those who think that Pittsburgh still, that their window for winning a cup is out, I don't think their window is out. I think their window is shortening now. They're it's first closing. In, they're first in a very good division. They are. Although, I don't, I don't know. I don't see, I, it's funny. I just don't see it. I don't know. Well, the, I think the big question is, will Taylor Hall turn it up for playoffs? Because we really have... We haven't ever seen him in the playoffs. We've seen him once. Well, once with when he was with Edmonton, right? No. No? With uh, the New or, Jersey Devils. Or he played Devils, yeah. They lost in five. Yeah. Um, anyway, moving on to the Western Division. This is a... So it looks like the Golden Knights will take the division. They have one. They have the same amount of games played, but two points up, up on Colorado. It really doesn't matter who finishes in this. And... Granted, Minnesota is doing very well. Minnesota's doing very well. They have 68 points. They're two Cup points under, co uh, under Colorado. That being said, I think... I think um, first off, I think St. Louis uh, stays ahead of Arizona. There's too much factors working against Arizona. They need a lot to go their way. Uh, that being said, I think St. Louis gets absolutely slaughtered by Vegas. I, that, that, I was actually going to say... They're like, getting swept. I, I, I was like... I don't know how people are going to feel about this, considering that St. Louis won a Stanley Cup recently. I think they get killed in the first round. They get swept? By no matter who they're playing. I think actually I think too. if they played Minnesota, I think Minnesota would beat them in five or less games. I, I think Minnesota loses in five or six games to Colorado. I say six. Uh, yeah, it's funny. Like, I just don't... There, I just remember this... Uh, here's what I think of back when I think of those two teams. I think back to this moment when Kale McCarr came back from injury and Colorado just decided to play God. And, no, 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 the next two games, it was like a public execution. Like, there was examples <laughs> made of the Minnesota Wild. I need to go back and check the scores. It was like eight goals. Like, it was a goddamn bloodbath. This was Kaprizov less. <laughs> this was... So, oh, God, they lost 8-3 to Minnesota in the middle of fucking April. So that, that looks terrible. But, okay, I yes. Think it's Here's the run. Close. Here's the run. Here's the rush, okay? okay? Yeah. So they, they win 2-1 um, against Arizona, 2-0 against LA, beat LA 4-1, beat Anaheim 8-4, beat Minnesota 5-1, then beat Minnesota again 6-0. It was right in the middle of March, and it was like, ugh. They've slowed down a bit. They have slowed down. So you know that's they went on a three game losing streak. That being said, I think it's just I think the, I think both of those teams are I think Colorado's got a bit more depth than Minnesota does. Colorado, uh, okay, no yeah. offense to, to Minnesota. Colorado has a lot more depth than Minnesota does. Yeah, they do. Up yeah. the middle? My god. Oh. Yeah. There's not enough I th there. I think There's good defense there, I think not enough. I think in terms of the production of those teams, both of them are pretty darn equal. However, Minnesota's playoff experience is lacking. It's lacking in its luster. It's they've, They they have a lot of it, but it's they a lot of first They've been round. to the playoffs a lot, and it's always first-round exit. And I don't think this year is any different, uh, even though they've, had, they've played much better this year. I just, I think... That Minnesota is in a tough division, and I don't see, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see them getting past the first round. Yeah, and then it's just a bloodbath. I, I, I think, I think no matter what happens in that division, we are having a Vegas, Colorado second round. Okay, so now let's move on to the last division, the Central. So it or is looks it the like Honda Central. No, or it's a Discover some, Central. Some Honda West. name like that. So it's dumb. It's looking like Nobody Carolina. Knows. Might be is probably going to hold on to the first seed with two games in hand and two oh, points right. ahead of Florida, and then it'll be Florida, Tampa, second, third, and then they'll either play. I think the Stars can technically come back because they're because look at it, look at it. They're three points ahead, but there's two there. So if they win the next game, they're right back there. They're fifty-eight yeah. to fifty-seven. That being said, I'm just going to take a peek at Nashville's schedule because if Nas Na or Dallas's schedule, sorry. If Dallas, oh no! No, they're not making it back. <laughs> oh God, no! <laughs> they play next Florida. Oh boy. Tampa. Oh boy. Tampa again. Oh boy. And then two games against Chicago, which could go either way. But oh man! Especially with Chicago and oh, their man. handfuls of rookies. Should I? Should I tell you about? Um, let's look at Nashville's remaining season. 
just who they play now. Oh my god. Is it oh, not this is this isn't even funny. Um, it's so be the lesser of two evils. So first off, they they do have two games against Carolina, so that could be tough. But they also have two games against Columbus. So it's going to come down to how they play in those two games against Carolina. Is what I'm thinking. Yeah. That that will be the deciding factor. Um, now I I here's it, my question. Because it doesn't matter though. I don't think. Well, no, th no, th this is actually, this yeah, not go. about Nashville. Okay, go. This is about Florida. I love this Florida team. I, I do too. I love this. I, I think want them to get back. Vlad back. I think he's not coming back. He won't have time. What, when is he? Oh, we actually. That reminds me. Um, they posted those top five things to do on the Instagram, so you can upload. Oh, them. they started posting. Them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't Another see guy that. edited. For okay. Us. But anyway, do yeah. They, is it like the same stuff? Yeah, same stuff. Oh, sweet. Um, but anyway, <laughs> um, I don't think Eckblad comes back. I don't think they need him though. And honestly, this is what I was going. Yeah. I was going up to. I think so. I think Carolina. Beats any team that finishes fourth. I, yeah. I do. I do. I really do. But I think Florida beats Tampa. And I want to see Florida I beat think Tampa. Florida Tampa is going to be a bloodbath. I want a seven round. game series out of that. That's going to be, that's going to seven. I, I'll tell you this right oh, now. Oh boy. I'm uh, excited. It's funny. I haven't been watching, like, to be completely honest, I mean, I've been following the Jets most games. <laughs> Uh, I've watched very little any of anything even outside the division, mm -hmm. but I am going to watch that because I am excited. Like, Carla, <laughs> there are so many players that I like that have, they, like even Gusev and Gusev Bennett, to name two right off the bat, have picked up their game so much since signing there, like j since being How's traded to How's Hornquist been doing? Hornquist has led very well. Um, Duclair has played great. Yandel is always a standard Yandel. Yeah. Um, standard. Verhege is goddamn underrated. He's a fucking oh my god, he's good. He's good. He's fucking underrated. He was a fourth line player for the Tampa Bay Lightning last year. My god, is he? He's he's gonna make that money. <laughs> they missed out on him. They just had to give so many guys away. They had so much talent on their roster. They had to give some of it away, and they did. Yeah. I think. I think, but I think Tampa, I, I just, I look at this story, right? And I'm thinking, Tampa's the defending champion. Okay. I want to see Tampa fall to Florida. I just want to see it because Especially as since... much as Tampa has tried to cheat the system in terms of controlling their money, because let's think about, let's just, let's not bullshit ourselves here. They are so far over the cap. It's not even funny. The reason they're okay with this is that they have so much in LTIR that they have it locked up okay. But afterwards, it doesn't yeah. matter. You can go over the cap after. After, um, like, once you go in plus. It doesn't yeah. matter how much. They don't give a fuck. But yeah. I want to see... Oh, you, you can't really blame them for doing that. I want to see... I want to see Florida win. I just want to see it. Because Florida also, deserves this. Florida... This is the best Florida team. That we've seen in a long time. I would argue ever. I would argue they're even better than that Florida team that made it to the finals. Who the fuck was on that Florida team? Fair enough. Ba Van Beesbrook? That's it. That's a goalie. There's a reason you got stomped in four. Did they have Joe Vinovsky at the time? Defenseman? Oh, no. Here he comes. Ed Joe Vinovsky. He was good. Can't carry a whole team, though. Oh, I'm not saying he's carrying a whole team. Get, I'm saying he's a get, good player. Get, keep going. We're getting off topic here. Anyways. I, uh... You know, Florida's, they've struggled for a long time. They have, they don't have, and I, people have picked on this team for not having great attendance. Doesn't matter in a COVID season. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. In a, yeah, maybe that's what's helping them. Um, <laughs> we're bringing you down to Cheers. us. Cheers. <laughs> anyway, yes. Nah, but I, I am, I, I feel great for the fans that have stuck by this team through all the bullshit that has happened. And I, 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 I hope they get to see some great playoff action from Florida. Yeah. And I hope... I, I, I think that Florida fans, seeing Florida take down Tampa in the first that, round... That'll be... That is perfect. one hell of a confidence boost. Yeah. So I think that's where we're going to leave it there, right? Long playoff drought, take out the defending cup champions. Mm. So we're going to leave that there. We're going to record afterwards our Mighty Ducks review, which will be up tomorrow during the day. Well, uh, we well, just realized we'll see, yeah. 
We just realized. I just realized we don't play tomorrow. We play on Monday. God Man. damn. We're gonna. You guys watch Star video. Wars? The Bad Batch. Oh out yes. Tuesday. And we're gonna do that. We'll do reactions. Damn that right, we're we are doing huge that. Huge Star Wars fans as well. If you haven't checked our Mandalorian. Seventy minute episode. We're gonna be recording our reactions, Fuck. obviously. Yes. Um. Yes. yes. So. Also, if you're new to this channel, hello. Uh, could oh, you go hi. hit that subscribe button because that would just be amazing. And the like button, please. Yeah, so, really, really helps. So I didn't. So I made a joke about this, and it's becoming quickly more and more possible that we can maybe hit 400 by May 5th or May 7th because that's when our birthdays are. That would be very nice. It's 374 now. We are in the realm of possibility. Yeah. Now we just yeah. need a, a huge group and a huge family and friend group to come in. But we're not far off. It could happen. And oh yeah, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Just say you liked it. And comment down below your thoughts on all of what we talked about today. Or even stuff that we didn't talk about today that you'd like to talk, yeah. hear from us from. Because I will answer everything. And uh, follow us on Instagram at Nolan Hawks Podcast. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.